So the merge mesh mesh op has seen some significant improvements in 12 and the first improvement is that it now accepts replicators um, which is really useful when it comes to you know, meshing replicators and then exporting them, the things that you might have created using them. Um, so in this scene here I'm just going to use mesh paint to drag out some telegraph poles. Um, now if I wanted to mesh that in the past I've had to convert it to instances and then mesh the instances and it would be very very kind of a very destructive and long-winded process but now all I have to do is just go to a new layer go to mesh ops add a merge mesh meshes mesh op and now in the source I can use the replicator and now if I hide these guys all of those telegraph graph poles are geometry, so I could continue um, doing various procedural um, operations onto this, or I could simply, I could simply um, right-click and freeze it, and then export that. So the merge mesh mesh op now also accepts hierarchies. So if I go to a new layer here in this scene, I've got a a car and the mirrors and the wheels are parented to it. So I'm going to add a merge mesh mesh up. Now in the past what I would have had to have done is added um, all of those items as a source but now all I have to do is add the parent which is final and then in properties check merge hierarchy. So now if I hide those guys that is all in the same layer. You're now also able to specify which uh, meshes uh, to include in, in the merge mesh based on a text field. So in this scene I've got um, 0 to 5 separate mesh items, add a new mesh layer and a merge meshes, and then add all of those. So if I hide those guys now all those uh, numbers are now in the same mesh, but I've got a merge meshes now, we've now got this index field, so dot 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 means give me everything, or I could specify specific um, specific mesh items, and then and they're numbered based on how they're created, so starting from zero, so if I type in zero, that'll be the first one I created, five will be the last one, but then you can also um, uh, you know, input uh, other things, for, ex for example, give me um, three and then dash 5, give me everything from 3 to 5 um, or give me everything from 2 onwards, so it would be 2 dot 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 and finally the merge mesh mesh up can now also see groups so in a scene if I've got, I've got three palm trees I'm going to create a new group called trees Go to new layer, add merge meshes, and so in the source, instead of adding all of the all of the items I want, now I can just add the group. That will merge them together. And the nice thing about that is you can you could set it up and then continue adding things to the group, and it would just be picked up by merge meshes. <laughs>